Building a vehicle begins with the chassis, which I'm sure you don't need me to tell you is the frame underneath the body. The chassis used to be made from numerous welded steel parts, and that made cars heavier and therefore less fuel efficient. But now, thanks to hydroforming, it's a real weight off your wallet. Years ago, this suspension component would have weighed your vehicle down. But now you can rock on with a light heart because the component can be made at a hydroforming plant. And because a single tube is stronger than welded parts, even the steel doesn't need to be heavy metal. The first step is to put the steel tube into a computer-guided machine called a rotary draw bender. The machine inserts a mandrel to prevent the tube walls from collapsing, then begins bending the tube into a starting shape for the part. The operation may look effortless, but the machine's hydraulics generate nearly eight tons of pressure to bend the steel. After several automated bends, the part has its starting shape, which the hydroforming process will ultimately refine. A robot places it into a press for a preliminary shaping called preforming. The press forces the tube against the die, which prepares the steel tube to fit into the cavity of the hydroforming mold. Here's the bent tube before preforming and after. Finally, a robot places the tube in the part mold that's mounted on the hydroforming press. The machine fills the tube with water, sealing the ends to trap the liquid inside. The machine then closes the mold and raises the water pressure to 20,000 psi, more than 600 times greater than the air pressure in a car tire. This high pressure softens the rigid steel tube, allowing it to conform to the shape of the mold cavity. When the press opens, a robot removes the now fully formed part of the mold. The hydroforming press even punched holes in for screws and bolts. A robot transfers it to a circular saw, which cuts the component in half, separating it into mirror image right and left suspension parts. The sawing leaves sharp burrs on the ends, so now the edges are smoothed with a handheld grinder. The parts are then inspected by putting them in a specially designed dimension verification fixture using tools called precise diameter spheres. The clearance between each part and the fixture are checked to make sure that they meet specifications. If the parts pass inspection, they're shipped to the assembly plant. There the parts are placed with adjacent suspension parts in an assembly jig. An automated machine welds them together. Then the next part is positioned and welded to the unit, and so on with additional parts until the entire assembly of the rear suspension is complete. To make the suspension corrosion resistant, a chemical coating is applied, which is bonded to the steel using an electrical charge. Once that coating dries, automated machines insert bushings for parts that will be later installed on the suspension. Bushings are rubber or polyurethane pieces that go in between two metal components. They absorb shock and reduce noise. The finished rear suspension is put into a shipping cradle for delivery to a car assembly plant. There, the spring and shock absorbers are installed, and struts, wheels, brakes, and other components are mounted. Then the entire unit is installed onto the vehicle. Hydroforming can be used to make chassis parts in shapes impossible to achieve by the older method of stamping steel. So besides reducing the weight of the car, hydroforming drives more creative automotive designs. Get my stamp of approval.